How about now? Sound now? Hello, hi Tamika, hi Rainy. Hope you guys can hear me this time. Can you hear me? You can hear me? Good. I got scared because my sound that went out. That's why I, when I did that live the other day, um, it didn't do right. It made me blue. I can hear you now. Thank you, Tiffany. Hello. I know y'all won't let me. You all won't let me down. If y'all see some trolls on my video tonight, y'all make sure y'all kick them off the chat room. Because they be doing too much. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Sissy Pooh. Hi, happiness girl. Hello. My face was dry. I had to put some grease on my face. Ooh, because I didn't bring any oil down here with me. Oh, let me pop this chat out so I can see better. Pop out chat. Come on, what are you doing? Okay. So y'all remember that second screen I had showed y'all? What am I doing? I'm, I'm gonna pop this chat out and put it on the second screen so I can see you all bigger. If y'all see any trolls, you make sure you kick him out the chat room because I ain't gonna be able to pay attention. Ta da! It's over there. Hi, Janice. What up with you, girl? Nothing but the flat out my hair. I decided to flat out my hair with you guys. I remember the trolls from two weeks ago. I know, right? We got you. Thank you, happiness. <sighs> I can hear you now. All right, guys. I think we I think we in business. Is it five o'clock yet? That was five o'clock on the dot. So let me put on some lips so I won't look too dry. I just got some eating. There might be some. There might be something. I don't know. This don't match. I don't care. Uh, just throw on something so I won't look too dry. All right, guys. So let me take down my hair so you all can see it. Of course, I didn't do a good job blow drying. I never do. I never do look good. I put the mic on my left side this time because I'm going to be working from the right side. So you guys, can you all see my, this is my flat iron. Oh. There we go. Here it is. This is my new flat iron I got for, what was that? Black Friday? I don't know. No, not Black Friday. Whatever it was. Oh, Amazon Day. Uh, Prime Day. It's on 350. You know us? <laughs> when I turn it that way, it says 350, 320, but it's 350. But it's upside down in the camera. <laughs> but it's on 350. I think that's kind of low. I think I'm going to be hot. So we're going to move real fast. But it is pink and it got a lot of cool features. I'll link it in the description box. And I got it for a nice little discount. I had opened this up live uh, when I first got it. So I'm going to go through this real quick because some of you guys might want to know. I use my Motions um, shampoo. It's a sulfate shampoo. And it's a moisturizing shampoo. And I used my Shea Moisture Mask, Deep Treatment Mask. I used that because this doesn't have a lot of moisture in it and I was going to I wanted my hair to get straight as possible, but you know, because I found out when I was using um, moisturizing products to flat out my hair and stuff, my hair would swell back up. So just like now, it's kind of swollen up. And then my blow dryer used ain't there. I'm just not good with it. Okay. Let me show you my blow dryer. Here goes my little blow dryer. This is, uh, I don't know. Anyway, this will look like with my teeth. And then when I blow dry my hair out, I use my leave-in conditioner. I use this leave-in conditioner by Motions. I love the way this smells, guys. This is Motions Nourish Leave-In Conditioner. It sprays out clear like this. Clear and wet. All right. So we can move this out the way. Where's my comb? 
Guys, I don't know how this is going to be because this is my first time doing it. Uh, hi, hi, Toreto. Hello, Yolanda. Just got in from work and saw that you were on live. All right. I was trying to tell you guys in advance I'll be here. Hi, Avis, girl. I see you saying hi to me, girl. Hi. <laughs> Uh, hey, family, don't forget to show Nancy some love with a thumbs up. Thank you. Hi, Carol. There go my other sissy. There go all my sisters. So, guys, what we going to do today? Oh, I didn't spray. See, that's why I didn't want to bring the liquid near my, my laptop. I didn't spray the laptop. Oh, I'm going to try to wrap my hair up, too. So. Ouch. I'm about to yank my hair out. So yeah, guys, my hair is not that straight. I can never get it that straight. And I don't even care anymore. Hopefully, it won't take me that long because what this flat iron said, it, it should take uh, less than less time than normal. I wonder should I raise this up to a higher level? Oh, it's going down. Ooh, how about 410? Guys, I got it on 410. Why is it on 400? We'll do 400 first. And then if that's not hot enough, then we'll do something else. Let me move back so. All right. When I used to do my flat iron videos, it would take me hours, seven hours just to um, whew, flat iron my hair. Make sure the cameras, the cameras lined up right. It was just too much. I said, well, this time just do it on live. Then I had to edit, and then that took a long time. Not talking. Hi, Tara and Liddy, taking a study break. Glad to join all of you. Hey, thank you. Tamika's here. Moisturizer sweat on my hair. I only use hair oil to fly on my hair now. It lasts longer. Yep, that's right. There goes Peel. Can you talk about Tim Norman from Sweetie Pies? I don't know about that fool. Only, only thing I know is he's just a fool. <laughs> just I, I've never seen him before, or have I? I don't think I've seen him in person. I just didn't know he was that kind of wicked person to put, you know, do something so tragic to his own family member. People are just crazy. There goes naturally cool. Hey, girl. Did I miss anybody? Hell, hey, Toretto. I missed her. And who else I got? Ava says, you're going to burn your hair out. Uh, thank you, Avis. Thank you so much. You're so positive. <laughs> Look at that beautiful hair. Oh, thank you, girl. Now, if I can get my body and my skin to match, I'll be in there. <laughs> Three will make you do some crazy stuff. Right. There is no way in the world. That is, I'm not doing that. There's some things I'm just not going to do. Some things I am just not going to do. So I'm separating my hair again. So guys, I cut my hair wrong. This is short. This is long. Then I cut up too high back in April. So, so my hair is actually, oh, it's not too, too bad, but it should have been longer by now. By now, I don't care. I got enough hair. <laughs> Andrew, long hair don't care. Someone is hating. <laughs> uh, don't do four ten. I'm scared, but I'm keep watching. Well, it's not on four ten. I, I took it down to four hundred. See, it's on four hundred. So let's just hope that the four hundred will get it right. Now my crown, my crown, like right here, it doesn't need a lot of heat. As a matter of fact, if you straighten it too much up there, it looks like I have no hair. It looks like my hair is real thin. And you guys probably have seen it in my other videos. When my beautician straightened my hair, she had my hair so straight, guys, to where it looked like I had no hair. A lot of people think I have a lot of thick hair. I don't have a lot of super thick hair. Ooh, look, look at some ugly gray. Mm. Mm. I don't want no gray. Yuck. But I have a lot of hair that gives an appearance of super thick hair. 
Leave the grass. <laughs> oh, you girls know I'll be snatching stuff out. Yeah, I know I'll be snatching stuff out. How do you go with how, how often do you go between washes? What flat iron do you use? I used to um ooh, I got depressed. I used to flat iron, I used to um shampoo my hair like every eight or nine weeks. But since um I'm in a better space, it's like every two to three weeks. Two to two to three weeks. Today's flat iron is the Kaposi. Kaposi. Looks thick. Yeah, it is thick. It's just not thick like people think it is. My crown has like a thousand and fifty-five hair strands in one follicle. So my hair looks big and swollen, but like if you ever really straighten it, it looks like I don't have any hair. So I, I think my crown has some fine hair in it, but we'll get to that. All right, so let's let's get started because I don't want to be messed with this hair all day. I got my super, my super kit. You over there. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this tonight. This is my uh, Chi number forty four Iron Guard. This is a heat protectant. I normally don't use heat protectants, but I notice when I use this, my hair comes out a little bit shinier and, and silkier looking. Oh, this is the box that came in. Nice box. So I need to find a comb. Here goes my flat iron chaser. So I don't, I have that out just in case I need to use it. Where is it? Oh man, I don't have a small tooth comb in here. I'm not getting up, I'm getting up. Oh, this is my little tool. Oh, this is my little tool. We just gonna get creative. I'm gonna use this comb. And plus I got this. So, I ain't getting up. Lizzie, hey. Hi, Crank, 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 Crank. <laughs> That's a killer name. Hi. I'm going to use this too, just in case. That's a, um, this is when I used to dye my hair. Well, you know, the, to paint the dye on. All right, so we got the combs. We got the, the cheek. And I, I got my hair clamps. Let me get one more, Let me get one more clamp. Guys, it's just a setup itself is a mofo. Oh, I'm gonna use my uh, gloss so good uh, hair gloss to make my hair shiny without weighing it down. And don't get mad at me. I got some scissors. How about if I cut some more hair today? Cut, cut, cut. You got some crazies in here? Oh, Lord, don't hit on thing. Did I miss anybody? Hey, Grace. So, guys, if I, uh, hey, all right, Terrell. Hello, gorgeous. Hope you're healthy. Thank you. As long as I'm at home, I'm cool. Marilla says, hi, Nancy from Detroit. Just wondering if you called the number for All About the Animals in Warren, Michigan to ask for Shay Shay. You, you said she needed shots in the physical. <laughs> no, I didn't call him. I didn't do anything uh, today for Shay Shay. I had to get my mindset to do this. But I'm going to do, uh, seem like on Fridays, I don't really do too well with, with taking care of business. Usually on Mondays or Thursdays, I do a little bit better. <laughs> uh, hey, big what? Oh. Oh, no, Rainy. Hey, Rainy. Nancy. Oh. She's asking <laughs> about that. So let's, do I need this first or do I need a second? Let's just play. There ain't got to be no rules. All right, guys. So I don't have a small comb, ouch, because I forgot. So let's see how this goes. And the heat just came on. The webcam don't pick up the shine. Yeah, I don't need no shine. Do I need to get closer? All right, so let's spray some of this. Oh Lord, please don't mess up my laptop. Ooh. Smells good. All right. Don't be talking about some nails. You ain't doing it right, because, honey, I don't know. Ooh, I might need to use a small piece first before I burn my hair out. So let's do a test ran. Let's see what happens. Ooh. I still got some hair. It didn't burn it out. We good at 400. I think 410 would be better, but Ava said, no, look, girl, don't use no 410. 
You might burn your hair, so we're going to stick with that. All right, so let's see. I should have brought a mirror in here because I cannot see. They said this is supposed to get your hair straight on the first swipe. Are we good? This don't even feel hot. My hair doesn't feel hot to the touch. This is a big flat iron, guys. I think this is a 1.75 in width. So we should get done real fast. This doesn't, my hair doesn't feel hot. Wow. We got one. I feel some, uh, some kinkage underneath. So let's get a little bit closer. You do? Hey, Tamika, I just need, watch Crank. Watch Crank? Oh, <laughs> uh oh, hey, kick him out the chat room. Jojo Booty, oh, Bootsy, hey. <laughs> you, okay, turn the heat up. <laughs> Why? You got, just on, based, based on one swipe, girl? No, we're going we gonna to stick to this and then we'll see. It got pretty straight. This web camera doesn't have high definition range, which means it won't look crystal clear like, like uh, regular traditional cameras, like my big boy cameras. So I hope you all can see. Hope you all can see. All right, so go up here, spray on some cheap. Stay away from my flat, stay away from my laptop, little cheap. Ooh, that sounds crispy. Don't be pulling on my hair. Hmm, that's pretty straight. So let's do the flat iron chasing method. Oh, y'all need to like our video. <laughs> Hello, lady in town. Thank you, Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you. So I got my uh, chaser right here. I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to chase it down. Whoa, it pulled out some more length. Whoa. All right now. Next. So it usually takes me about one hour, or maybe 45 minutes, maybe around 50 minutes or so to flat iron. Is that the silk press technique? I don't think so. I don't really don't understand, understand what the silk press thing is. It looks like a regular flat iron job to me. I don't know. I guess it's um maybe it's technique and Products? I don't know. All right. So let's do another chase method. So we're going to put the comb on first like that. Is that right? I got that on wrong. Oh, no, I don't. I just have to use my left hand. Listen to all that fried dyed hair. Guys, sometimes I think I'm left-handed. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty cool. Shouldn't have to do too many... Uh... There goes Andrew. <laughs> Shouldn't have to do too many swipes. They all the same, different name for it and products. Oh, am I missing something? Oh, y'all need to like our video. Don't burn your ear. Right. Don't burn that ear. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's 
Here we go again. Man, I should wouldn't got my uh what's going on here? I should have got my mirrors. This here ain't this here ain't working. I got a mirror in there. This here. That's what the old folks said. This here, honey, this here ain't working. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Just flying out of my hair yesterday. I can't braid it curly. The tangles. All oh, right. The tangles are unreal, guys. Why is my nose running? All right. Spray. Maybe a red tail will be better. I know it will be. If I get up and go get it, I don't feel like going to get it. What's this here? I forgot about your reminder. I'm Eastern. Oh, oh, sorry, popcorn. Popcorn love. <laughs> y'all know that song. Y'all old. I'm telling y'all. That's that was new edition when they first came out. When they was trying to be bubblegum people, bubblegum kids. I don't need to do too many swipes. Hello, hi Marie. I wonder, or any different fence frames for checking these frames. Mm -hmm. Is that good enough? Let's go one more time. I'm trying not to do too many passes, guys. I think I ought to have it. <laughs> That's what I do. Because my old flat iron um, didn't really get that hot. So I think I just do this out of habit. One thing that's good about this flat iron, once you put it on a certain temperature, it stays there. It don't go up and down. And that was one of the th reasons why I never really got a new flat iron because they be having these flat irons with the buttons next to your fingers. And if you accidentally hit the hit the button, you burn your hair out if you hit it too high. Yeah. Now see, if I had a video going, I would have cut that part out so y'all can't see it. But now that I'm live, yeah, I get to see all my mistakes. Yesterday, you were upset. How are you doing today, Auntie? Oh, I'm doing a little bit better. Guys, okay. I don't know if I should tell y'all this because um, YouTube going to demonetize me. So I'm going to need y'all to... <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to um, pay attention to the codes. So yesterday, like I said in my previous video last night, I was going to... Uh, I was going to go to... I wanted to go to the park and walk with me and Shay Shay and record a video. Mm -hmm. And I got... Something kept saying, don't go to that park because it's just not safe right now. It's 2020. If something happened to you in that park, ain't nobody going to know because you're out there by yourself with the um, crazies. Guys, literally, I went I went and got my uh, Smitty. Smitty and Wes put it in my pocket. It was too big. It was too big, guys. <laughs> I know, right? I'm a, you know what? I got a punching bag in there. I'm going to start up using my punching bag. That handle was hanging out my bag, out my pocket. I said, no, that's too big. You can't carry that. And so I thought about it and thought about it. Then it started raining. And when I saw the rain, that was a cue to let me know, do not leave the house with your two friends. With your three friends, rather. So that's what prevented me to take it. My two friends out. Really, my three friends, because I had Shay Shay with me. And sure enough, I got upset because of them, because of them uh, people. What is with the phone number? All right, so YouTube had went on and spam S H she lash A S L whatever because they saying something wrong. So when you say something wrong and stupid on my chat, you don't even be seen. Only I can see you. Oh, I, already, I already did this part. Stop saying stupid stuff on people's video. Damn. So anyway, guys. So yeah, when I got into it with that guy, I mean, I didn't get into it with nobody. I was just, just so angry. I'm like, man, there's a reason why you, it rained yesterday. It was a reason why it, it was a reason why it rained. It shouldn't be walking around with that thing on me, no way. But I'm going to have to get me a smaller one. 
That way I can feel like, you know what? You'll be all right. Oh, that's, what's this? That's, uh, I think I missed some hair because it looks fuzzy. It's kind of hard to see. I'm um, looking at my, looking at my webcam. Oh, got my mirror right there. Yep, I said, see, that's why you shouldn't have took it out the house. That reason. Because I was heated yesterday. But I feel a little bit better today. Especially since I can take a comb and go through my hair. You straighten your hair. Reminds me back in the day in the 80s when my sister used to get her hair ear burned <laughs> trying to watch Soul Train. <laughs> oh, girl. Did you just take me back? Because my mother used to tear, tear up my ears, too. And then tell me I wasn't still. Kyle, you don't know how to flat. You don't know how to do no hair. You don't know how to press no hair. And every time it was time for me to get my hair done, nobody wanted to do my hair. You got, your hair is too thick and it's too much. It's too nappy and all that. No, it was. Yeah. This is really amazing how back then we didn't have any education on how to take care of our hair unless you went to the beauty shop. But like I said in one of my videos, my, my mother used to always tell me, you got some bad hair. And I thought I had really bad hair. Not realizing that she didn't know what the hell she was doing. She started taking me to the beauty shop. And that beautician, can, she can tell that I had a low self-esteem. She can see what kind of mama I had. And she, my mama would leave. That beautician said, you are beautiful. You have beautiful hair. I love doing your hair. She did everything that, she, that my mother should have done. And that lady made me feel so pretty. I was like seven or eight years old, something like that. But I thought I had bad, nappy hair. It's still nappy, but it ain't bad. That lady said, you're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with your hair. I used to love to go see her. I don't remember her name to this day. I used to feel so special, though. That lady made me feel good. I was able to hold my head up high when I was with her. And that's when I realized then my hair wasn't that bad. All because of her. And then when I learned how to do my own hair, I said, my hair ain't that bad. My mother was washing, she was washing my hair with dishwashing liquid and letting it air dry, no conditioner, and tell me I had bad nappy hair. I'm like, girl, you got your people mistaken. She had softer hair than me. And she kept her hair in an afro. <laughs> She kept her hair in the afro, so she kept my hair in the afro. Because she didn't know how to do hair. So my hair is a lot like hers in the crown. It's real soft and fine, but she just didn't have as much hair as I had. I, had, I got a lot of hair. So this feels good so far. I'm trying to remember not to go over it so many times. Back in the day, they had the hot comb straight out the stove. Yep. All you heard is don't move and be still. And then they beat you up. Right. Uh, there's so much pain in the black community regarding our hair. I'm glad you wish you. Yeah, that's what I say. I'm so happy. And then when I first got started online to do my hair, because I always knew I had long hair. I just didn't know how to get it to grow longer. I said, I know my hair can grow longer than this. And my hair can grow longer than this if I stop cutting in it. <laughs> I would do another hair challenge, but I have no reason to do another hair challenge. Because who needs more hair? Who needs more hair? I don't need no more hair. It is called, the flower is called Kaposi. Kaposi. All right, these sections are getting too big. Know, I, I don't know why people don't up, want to uplift children. Why don't you want to uplift them? Why you want to make them feel like crap and beat them up and you know and be mean to them? I don't understand that. Chase, let's do a chase. I'm actually right-handed, but I keep picking up this comb with my right hand for some reason. So I'm gonna flat out on my left hand. 
Ooh, ooh, those ants. I think I need to trim my hair. Let's see. Hi, MG. Thank you. I have thick hair now that I start relaxing my hair. This is from Adrian. Wish I would have went natural a few years ago. I know, right? It's never too late. I didn't go natural until I was 32. And I didn't start growing my hair until I was 42. And I didn't get hair this length until freaking 50. <laughs> so it's not too late. It's never too late. I remember when I said, I'm going to grow my hair down to my tailbone. Then after, I, after my wash days got to be too long and Everything was such a long process. Like, oh, no, I'm not. I don't want that, I want that much hair. I don't What'd you say, Rainy? They're easy targets. Same. My students go through that a lot. I'm 42 now. Oh, hey, 42, girl. That's when you really know you got show stuff going on for a fact. For a fact. I went natural and convinced my mother to as well. I'm not a fan of hair salons, me either. I went natural because my mom went natural. Well, no, my mother was natural and then I got tired of doing my hair and I saw how short her hair was. I said, I want my hair like hers. So I cut all the way off and started over. Then I said, let's see how long it'll grow. You need to learn how to take care of it. So I learned how to take care of it online. This, the, this back part right here is kinky. I don't care. Hey, Emily says she'll be 49 Sunday. Hey, well, happy birthday to you. Just not getting a routine routine after being natural 14 years. Yeah. It's not wrong with it. It ain't too late. My teacher or, or awful too. Oh, your teacher's awful. I don't be understanding people. That's... Guys, I don't have to be around a lot of people no more. I just, ugh. just don't have to. Especially after driving the bus for freaking 28 years. I'm just so over people at this time. Maybe later in the future, I'll be a little bit better. We have a tendency to want to be mean to each other. I don't want to be mean. I don't feel like being mean. Was I a mean bus driver? No. Could I be mean? Yes. Now you aggravated me. You weren't going to have no pleasant ride, buddy. Matter of fact, you might even get on this bus. Every time I see you, I'm just not going to even let you on here. <laughs> That's not nice. I don't care. But my passengers love me, honey. Thank you. Got my two bottles of Ripple cheap wine. She ready. Who said that? That's Emily. Hi, Coco. I didn't see you when you came in, girl. Y'all just talking? I am missing everything. I feel, Emily says, I feel teachers work on the heart first and then the mind. Uplift those babies. That's right. Uplift us, especially in the black community. I find, I mean, I know that, I know that we as black women, we have this stigma on us or a bad reputation saying we're always the angriest people of all races. Yeah, I can see it because I dealt with it. Is it all black women like that? No. But our households, how we grow up, our environment, it keeps us like this, wishing a bitch wood. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. We always on that edge. Like I said, my mother was a, she was a pistol baby. You couldn't play with her, especially when she was young. And then I tried my best not to be like that. But I had to be like that because I became a public bus driver. And I, I noticed that the shift changed in everybody, not just blacks. Everybody, the shift changed, especially the last 10 years. The last five years, boy, it's really gotten different. People are so angry. What you mad at? Don't smile. Don't speak. Looking off. Hey, if you ever come to St. Louis, even Illinois, East St. Louis, they do not smile and they don't look at you in the eyes. They hold their head down. Got a funky ass look on their faces. Like, what's wrong with you? It's freaking 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. Why is your face like that? How you wake up mad? And I can always tell when uh, 
when people came from another state sometimes. I'm like, you ain't from here, are you? No, how you know? Sunny personality, speak to you. Don't cause no trouble, but you always got that one. But baby, let me tell you something. Them black angel chicks, they was my friends. They were so sweet. Some of them I got into it with because was I a black angry chick? No. Did I get that way eventually? Yep, because I wasn't taking no crap out of nobody. I used to get oh by teachers in school. Uh, Dania, um, YouTube, here's your comment. Let me see. When my mother, oh boy, oh, I lost your message. Sorry, girl. I don't know. I didn't lost your, uh, that chat is moving. Yeah. What I try to say is um, people are angry about everything for absolutely no reason. I mean, it's just seems like everybody is angry of all freaking races that I've seen. Because I've, you know, by me being a, a public bus driver, I'm around a lot of people. People are so mad. What you mad at? God, man. I used to wake up, man, be like, oh, I used to wake up like this. I wish the damn mother would say something to me, damn motherfucker. Yep, just on GP. Just don't even know why. That's when I can take my, uh, what's my pills? I'll be taking my um, happy pills. Uh, my wild yams. I showed that in a few of my videos. That's when my estrogen level was just out of whack. When I feel like I just want to do something really bad. I feel like I'm on edge. So go on, take my medicine. Uh, sometimes I'll go for a walk and exercise. Put on my makeup. That makes me feel happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That T-Pain, you know, that's the president. I'm not going to say his name because you two be on some bull crap. But anyway, he didn't mess up everything with his little orange butt. Oh, yeah, reality show. That's right. Yeah, the reality shows, I can't, some of them I can't watch. All of them I can't watch. The only one I was able to watch, and I don't think they come on no more, is Basketball Wives. That's a, but I'm like, what y'all mad about? Y'all old ass. They was old like me. They in their 50s, 40s, and 50s and stuff. What y'all mad about? Can't ever just be happy. But you know what? I think New York started that trim. You know, New York, the uh, the original HBIC, she, she started that crap and made all these wannabe reality show people act like, uh, they didn't took it to another level. Mm. Was the, the one bus driver lady was angry and could, could tell because she didn't greet anyone and drove crazy fast. <laughs> Girl, bus drivers be on edge, baby. They be on the edge. Now, I wasn't a really big greeter because like I said, people are in, people here in St. Louis and East St. Louis, they don't really speak. So I didn't speak to them. But I did give them eye contact and I did make them feel welcome. Like, hello. And they be hi. I'm like, hey, what's going on with you? Why you ain't why you look like that? What you mad at? What you mad at? And they say, I ain't never met no bus driver like you. You always look like you happy. You just be happy. They be happy to see me come because I drive crazy fast too. And guys, you know, I drove for Metro. So my <laughs> we got the letter M on the front of our buses. My M always looks like this. You can see my end with the flames, with the ears and the flames and stuff. Because the way uh, the company got our schedules, they don't give us enough time to keep up the schedule. So if you're stuck in traffic and they give you enough, not enough time, you on edge because you're irritated. You don't, you don't want to be late. You don't want to hear the passengers complaining to you about why you late. And then you got people on the bus popping their gun, talking all crazy and stuff. Then you got somebody... Doing all of, of weird stuff, talking to themselves. Man, if you say that one more time, I'm telling you, somebody's going to get put off. Don't say it no more. Don't say it no more. What? Hi. That's uh, C Bro. Hello. Flavor Flav, yep. New York and Flavor Flav, yep. Uh -huh. So I think I think New York started that trend of being the angry black girl on the reality shows, and then it moved to the angry white girls. Cause them old and they be old. Them sisters be on there banging them white girls, them old white girls, and them old black girls. They be straight up fighting and banging. And I'm like, y'all need to go get y'all social security check. And go have several seats, please. 
please go sit down and have several seats. Because, like, why are you on here fighting? Then they, it's always the girls getting mad because they think they mad messing around somebody. Because let me tell you something. Ain't nothing like an ignorant, an ignorant uh, jealous woman. They can get so ignorant over them with piece of POS men. Girl, please. One thing you can't stop doing is making your man cheat. Stop cheating. If you want to cheat, he is going to. You can't stop these girls from getting at your man by acting stupid. That's going to really make a mess with you. Guys, let me tell you something. Uh, this one, uh, me and my cousin was talk <laughs> talking about this the other day. We were talking about how women be calling other women that they think a guy's cheating with or possibly cheating with. So I used to, uh, I used to, uh, hey, it's just tickled to death. Hi, I'm just tickled to death. Hey, guys, y'all just talking. I'm just, I'm just not a good conversation. I think I have PTSD from riding the public bus for eight years. <laughs> it's a traumatic experience sometimes. You don't either love it or not love it. But yeah, uh, we were talking the other day, me and my cousin was talking the other day about how women want to call you about their man calling, you know, dealing with you. This one girl called me from out of nowhere. Oh, I know what struck with the conversation. She said that she was talking to one of her ex-classmates and they had he had called her just to shoot the breeze. Well, the girlfriend found out about it and made him call her and explain herself to why she talking to her man. Now, mind you, my cousin is, I'm 51. She's, oh gosh, she's gonna turn 48, I think. She was born in 72. Next year is, oh no, she'll be 49. Now they're in there, they old like us. She's gonna have my have him to call her and say, uh, he said, Would you tell my girlfriend that we we're old classmates and we were just reconnected just to say hi and get caught up on life? So my cousin was like, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's my classmate, and we just thought we just catch up on some things, and that's it. And so she had sent him a few pictures of how she looks today. And so she, the girlfriend going to say, so did you have to send him like eight pictures or whatever? I, I, I'll just say three. Did you have to see him send him so many, like three pictures? She's like, yeah. What difference does it make if I sent one or three or eight? What difference does it make if I send him some pictures? We just getting caught up. Everybody don't want your man like that. And I was telling my cousin, I remember this is a long time ago. If you call me about your man, you ain't going to like me. Don't call me about him. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm going to hurt your feelings because you calling the wrong fool. And there was this one guy named Tim. He was my classmate. And um, he called me. We exchanged numbers. And we was just talking on a classmate type level. His lady caught, got caught. Um, she got wind of me somehow and going to call me out of nowhere. Yeah, um, may I speak to Angel? I said, oh, yeah, that's your she. She said, yeah, this is the girlfriend of Timothy. And um, I found your phone number in his, uh, I think she said she found his phone number in his wallet or some pants or something. Because if you go looking for something, you're going to find it. I said, yeah. She said, uh, what you doing talking to my man? I said, girl, let me tell you something. I said, me and Tim went to school with each other. But I don't want your guy because he was in the special. Okay, he was in the special. You didn't know he was coming small with you. So don't play with me about your man. She just hung up. When I told her she was in, I said, I want your little slow man. Girl, are you kidding me? She just hung up, girl. I knew. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm missing a good chat. Mm, dang. I just let one go one week ago. This is the third dude this year I let go to many oh, out there, and I don't have time for mind games because me, that's the queen. The queen has spoken, baby. Queen Lawin has spoken. You sure, right? They be on some bull crap. Look, don't call me about show oh no nothing ass man. If he called me, it's because he has an interest in talking to me for whatever reason. But I don't always want to have sex with every guy who calls me, especially somebody I know that was a little behind in school. Okay, so I wasn't the brightest in school either, but I wasn't as slow as he was. <laughs> no, ma'am, don't call me about him. Because what you going to do if I was? What you going to do? If I was messing with Tim, what you going to do? You can't stop it. You can't take. You can't make me take it back. Don't come over my house clowning, acting stupid over somebody. That's community. Most of these men out here are community deeds. Okay. Hmm. Hi, Kiki. 
feedback, please. Oh, please say, hey, like, Kiana, what's going on here? <laughs> Have you ever thought about getting a Dominican blowout? No, because I, I see how straight they get those people's hair. And although I, don't, I like to wear my hair kinky sometimes, and I like to wear my hair straight, I don't want my hair that straight. And look like they be doing some stuff, like using chemicals and some stuff. And a lot of the girls be saying, my hair won't revert back. And I don't want that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want nobody in my head. Let's just put that out there. My cousin said, can you please go to the beauty shop? Like, uh, no. Can you please put your makeup on? Uh, like, nope. Do what I want to do when I want to do it. So, yeah, don't get mad at me about the community, D guys. Don't get mad at me about you can't stop that fool from doing what he want to do. Just like he can't stop you from doing what you want to do. I think a lot of people think that people are property. You are my property. I own you. I bought you. You don't know this person's social security number. You don't know their history. You just met them or she just met you. And all of a sudden, they're yours. You're mine. Because, honey, these women be on some bull crap about their men. So I had to stop hanging around some of them. Like, when I was real fine, like, I was fine, girl. And I tell you, I was fine. I had to stop hanging around some of my girlfriends and stuff because they was, like, uh, looking at me out their side. I like Shay Shay and stuff. Like, uh, girl, you need to be looking at your man like Because your man looking at me like that. Your man looking at me. <laughs> Let me stop being fine around you and your man. I had to tell my one buddy. I said, you know, I think it's best for us to just be with each other without your guy being around. That's cool. So that's what we did. We agreed to not be around her man when we were together. And guess what? They ain't even together no more. They were married. They were married. Now, honey, please. There's a baby in the chat. Uh-oh. Who, who that baby is? Uh-oh. What, what the baby doing in the, in the chat room? Babies don't need to be this grown folks. Hey. This grown, uh -oh. this grown folks talk. Uh oh, Toretto says she just blocked a, a baby. You just blocked the baby. Get them babies out of here. Uh Denia says, men and can't be friends because someone always catches feelings. Sometimes. Or I find that a lot of my guy friends are my friends today after we stop uh, being lovers. Because some, like, some men, you just, you know what, you just need to be my friend because yo, 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 uh, community D ain't working for me, okay? But you can't, I had a guy friend that, um, that we were friends, and I didn't really think that he caught feelings for me, but you just, you just really never know how people feel on the inside. They can act a certain way, not knowing how they really act, how they really feel about you on the inside. So I don't know. I don't think that works for everybody. I think it may work for some people. I don't think every shoe fit everybody. Different shoes fit different people. Different shoes fit different people. Uh oh, y'all blocking. All right, guys. I'm glad you are. Oh, I got you, Denia. Women, women. I'm glad you are. Uh, Staying on top of these people, cause honey, they be in her in the chat room on some bullshit. Yeah, cause I can't keep up, cause I'm doing this big hair. So we moving along. Yeah, that's short. Oh well. And every time I say you didn't need to get your hair professionally cut, I'm like, uh uh. I'm gonna put it in my head. Bro, I'm a teenager. Y'all can call. Y'all can chill. Like, mm. Why is a bro in here saying he a cheerleader? I mean, he's a, a teenager. In grown folks' world. It's a grown folks' world right here. Get up. That's what I tell Shay Shay. Get up. Get that young elf. All right. So... This size feels short. Oh, well. All right. So put that there. Come on. My hair is not that, uh, ooh, crispy. 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 
Those are split ends. I need my ends trail. I need my ends trail. What y'all say? What y'all say? What y'all say? This one. Uh oh. I've been told to be careful. What's going on? What y'all saying? Roxanne, this my man be telling me how his friend be talking about me. Dude, you better get them together, or I will. There you go. You know what? I call them. I call them crap disturbers. When suck, when suckers come to you and tell you what somebody else said about you, that's crap disturber. So I'm gonna tell you. This one guy gonna tell me. You know, everybody going around telling people that you are. Uh, you are G A Y at the job. I said, so what you tell him? I ain't say nothing. I just looked at him. So did you check him? No, I ain't say nothing. I said, well, who said it? Oh, I ain't gonna say that. So what you telling me for then? What's the purpose of this conversation? Because you know I'm not the G word. So that was the one who banged my head on Mr. Headboard. So I told y'all about that. In my, I'm gonna try to remember, remember to link that video to this one. That's the one I had to wear uh, my bicycle helmet with because he got so excited and started ramming so freaking hard and bust my head against the headboard. I said, because you know I'm not that. So what did you say? I ain't say nothing. So you didn't check him. You won't tell me who it is. So what's the purpose of this conversation? You, you crap disturbing. That's what's going on. No, I'm not. Then he came back and apologized. I'm sorry. The hell are you telling me that for? Keep that mess. If you don't check that fool for me, then you are part of the problem too. Let's just put that out there. You just want to get me upset, but you ain't protecting me. You ain't got my back. So, so since you ain't protecting me, I, I need to just go and check you right quick and say, hey, you're not my friend if you didn't protect me or stand, stand up for me. You want to come and tell me stuff people saying, which means you're trying to hurt me. You part of the problem. You, you part of the gang. So I'm looking at you out of my side. Eye. Crap disturbing. People like the crap disturbing. And that's what those reality shows was, was about crap. So I heard you say this. I heard you say that. I straight my hair. Uh, I straight my hair. I used to straight my hair like once or twice a year. But I think this year is like my third time or fourth time. Yeah, you crap disturbing. Uh oh. I need to move over since I'm on my left side. Because I'm hitting the microphone. Yeah, people like the crap to start. I don't know if they do a crap. And anytime you work around a bunch of women and men, they just keep up crap. They know more about you than you know about yourself. You're like, really? That's what I did? I didn't know that. They come back and tell you. Shut up. Probably you saying this stuff. I ain't gonna lie though. I used to, uh, it's just natural for us to gossip because it just sounds so good and crazy and you don't know if it's true or not you know rumors is something you can't prove sometimes some of the rumors be true though some of them don't be true that's why they call rumors because you sometimes you just don't know but you're always gonna have that one person say well i heard and i saw and sometimes they be actually telling stories on you guys are you all following um a date is a daytime t she's talking about uh Nicki minaj husband and she's actually talking to the woman he 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 victimized i was like this today so ooh, this is pretty pretty good but uh that woman experienced something so bad hi <laughs> yeah she experienced something so bad and for nikki to come out and start talking about her her husband's situation with that woman. She is crap disturber too. Don't be mad because you chose the wrong man, girl. Stop. And if by you being a woman, you should be more sympathetic towards another woman. Well, that's just my opinion. You don't have to be. Because some women do be lying. But honey, these women get so caught up with these men, they believe anything negative about the next woman. Sometimes women do tell stories, so. I don't think I don't think this woman's telling a story about Nikki's husband. Who knows, guys? Like, why tell me you ain't gonna stop? That's right. That's what I say. There goes Nisi. Latin. Why? Why should she do that? Uh oh. 
Now, what happened? That, that isn't this something? I can't stand people who gossip about another person and don't have facts. Yep. That's true. But I think we all have a little gossip in us. Um, we just like to talk to our people who we have, who we have a connection with and discuss the things that's going on around us. No matter if it's false or true, I think that's just in us naturally. Just be like, you hear that? And is that true or what? I don't treat anybody any differently. But if I see what I heard, and I don't like what I heard, and you acting like what I see, I'm like, mm, uh, I need to sit back and watch you for a minute, partner. Because sometimes things are not what they seem. I have become so much more open minded since I've gotten older. When I was younger, everything that I heard, not everything, but I've always been a person who had her own mind. But sometimes I would get actually caught up in some stuff, uh, some rumors and stuff, and like, oh, that's true. And nah. But by me being older, I sit back and reevaluate first. And I I don't just automatically assume everybody what they're saying is true anymore. Because some people just do stuff just to be, be the cool kid. They'll lie on somebody else just to be the cool kid, just to be in your life. Have you looking like boo boo the fool? Had you have you thinking all this stuff is true? Mm -mm. You have to have your own mind, make your own decisions. Can't believe the hype. So where we at? Feels good though. These ends feel rough. I need to go to the beauty shop and let somebody trim my hair. I just don't trust these suckers. <laughs> I don't trust nobody no more. We are getting closer and closer to the front. And you know what? A lot of people, especially women, look at them elbows, Jesus. Uh, a lot of, especially women, they don't like to get older. Guys, I like getting older because I am sharper and I do, I make better decisions. Do I make decisions, good decisions all the time? No. But I make better decisions than I did when I was younger. I am actually way sharper. That's so thin. I got a thin spot right here. I don't know why I did that thing. People don't like quiet folks. My mom, you know, my mom knows you in real life. Your mom knows you in real life. Okay. This person keeps talking about my mom, his mom, her mom. What is with the mama conversation? Why are we on mamas? Uh, quiet kid or woman always gets rumors placed on her. Yeah, they know more about your private part than you know about your private part. Like, I didn't know I was doing that. I didn't know none of that. When did that happen to me? Or when did that happen to him? Or how do you know? Somebody always got you in the know. Somebody always got you in the know. Mm, my neck, my neck be growling, guys. Hey, this video has not been demonetized yet, guys. Let me tell you, some of my lives be getting demonetized. For those who don't know what demonetized mean, that means that I get paid on my on my um, videos through ads. So whenever you guys see all those ads pop up on YouTubers' videos, that's because we're getting a little money off of it, not much. And my lives, they very seldom get money tied because I'll be clowning. So you, if you all notice, I'm really trying to be conscious of how I word myself. Because maybe I can get ignorant. I can get real ignorant. It don't take much. It don't take much to get ignorant. Nisi, because they jealous of quiet persona. A person's peace. Ooh. Nisi's in the house. Nisi Watson. I'm missing all the good conversation. <laughs> yeah I don't know why we just can't be nice if you don't want to be nice just go on just you gotta be so mean all the time but we must admit rumors and gossip is very entertaining and once you get a rumor on you those rumors never go away Somebody gonna always remember. There's gonna be at least one person gonna always remember that one rumor you had on you, and they're gonna believe it no matter if they got facts or not. 
I just think that's us naturally. We want to believe something negative. Ooh, that is true. You ain't got no facts. I can feel it in my gut. They do. People do say that the gut feeling is a real feeling. Is this thing still on? Yep, it's still on. I like this little flat iron. It's smooth. It's smooth with a V. We thrive off hearing something that's going on with somebody else's life because we be having things in our lives like you be like, I know somebody else's life is worse than mine. Can I please find somebody else's life that's worse than mine? That makes you feel better some kind of way. I don't understand it. But <laughs> why do you have to feel better because somebody else's life is worse than yours? I don't know. Jada says, I love you so much. Well, YouTube has really, really put you in the spam. I'm going to show you a message because I'm trusting that you really mean love me, Jada. But you don't love me like you see you do. Kicking your ass off the chat. Don't lie to me, good. Don't lie to me. Thank you. All right. I had a coworker told me that she only thrived for negativity. Ooh, what's going on in her life? I really like this group. Thank you. This is Janakia or Janasha. I hope I'm saying it right. Nix. Yes, I'm quite. Quiet. I'm quiet myself, and some females don't like me. Oh, quiet. Okay. True, Nezzy. I got half of the page of what people think of me. Let them, let them, let them, let them donut holes think whatever they want to think. As long as they, you know what? As long as you you got things on their mind, and you go to bed at night not thinking about them, let them let them donut holes go on and think that. You can't change nobody's thoughts, and if they go to bed at nighttime thinking about you, let them let them think about you. Cause you sure ain't thinking about them. You sure ain't thinking about them. I know I don't be thinking about them. I told you guys about my one friend who hated this girl at my job for 15 years until she died. Like, you mean tell me you kept a grudge and hated this girl for 15 years and you died and you still thinking about I bet she in her grave thinking I still hate her. She even keyed that girl car and everything. That woman moved on, had kids. Got four or five dogs in the house. She ain't thought about you. You still got you. She's still on your mind though. Mm, mm, mm. Some people just can't move on. They gotta stay back there. Stay back there. I don't want to stay back there. Am I flawless? No, I be having some issues too, girl. <laughs> These ends feel terrible. Where my scissors at? I'm ready to cut some hair. I better not cut no hair because I don't have the right comb with me. We'll see. I got my scissors right here. I got my scissors. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That's true. If you cute. You really gonna get them bad rumors of how you be sleeping around and stuff. You're like, no, I did not. And the ones they think you slept with don't be the right ones. You're like, I know I didn't. You can stand on that. You'd be like, I know I didn't sleep with him. Or I didn't sleep with her. But you know who you did do it with. Though they be getting you all mixed. They be getting your stuff mixed up. Like I ain't you no, know, I didn't. They used to be talking about me like they like that. I didn't. I didn't sleep with him. Y'all got me mixed up with somebody else. <laughs> Uh, they think they know. I had one guy actually lie on me and said, we did connect. I'm like, David, why did you say that? I was just mad because you wouldn't holler at me. And did you get anything out of this? He got recognition. Some people will shame you to get recognition. Because if you're the cool kid, that's what you do. You come at the cool kid. And that's how you gain your, that's how you get recognized by going after the uh, most popular person. Rappers do it all the time. They go after other rappers that are thriving and make diss tracks and stuff. Or, and that way they get recognized. Or, um, 
I don't know, they mention their names inside of stuff and get stuff started. That's how they get, that's how you get recognized. Cloud chasing. So that's what David was, a cloud chasing. He was old too. He used to dye his uh mustache black. Knowing he was gray and old. Why does this feel like this? Oh, it turned itself off. So I think it stays on for a while. I'm like, why does it feel like this thing, thing ain't on? But it turned itself off automatically. So I turned it back on and it reset itself back to 350. 245, 247, 248, 250. So it's warming up real fast. 259, 263. It's moving up. It's going to go back to uh, 400. It's warming back up. It says it's supposed to warm up within a minute or so. Oh, let me. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was lying. Let me let me go and show your message. Let me go and show your message. Cause YouTube puts you in the box here. She put they put you in the box. Mm -hmm. See, it's back warm, but it's back to three fifty. So we're gonna turn it back up to four hundred. Where you going? Where are you going? So after a while, it turns itself off. Then you have to reprogram it, and it goes back to the regular temperature within one minute. That's amazing. Uh, Queen says, I used to hang out with a group that gossiped a lot. When the person they talked about come to confront everyone in the group, I laughed. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Now. That's one thing. When you start rumors and stuff, or you, or if you're a person that saying some stuff about somebody else, and somebody go back and say, tell them what you said, are you willing to stand by what you said? I heard you said. Some people be like, "Yep, I said and what." Now, what you gonna do if you are the confronter and they say I said it? What you gonna do then? Or if you're a person who's saying these things and somebody confronts you and you deny it, you gonna look like a chicken scratch. You're gonna look like a straight up chicken punk chump sucker. Then everybody will be side eyeing you. Are oh, you 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 a punk? <laughs> you are a punk, and then they're gonna say you a crap disturber. Knowing it, and then the ones who are talking about you saying you a punk, those are the ones who was really saying something about that person and got some stuff started. It's just a mess, guys. <laughs> it's a mess working with a bunch of people. Even in school, high school, even in high school, when I went to college, I liked college. I didn't go that long, though. I went one year, and then the second year, I got on the bus, went to the college, and looked at it. Caught the next bus back home, and I ain't went back since. Some people say, did you go to college? Yep, I went. I didn't go in, but I went. <laughs> but when I got to college, it was such so much of a uh, nicer atmosphere. <laughs> Lisa says she stands by it. I suppose to be funky to make her fall feel safe. No, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> Emily says I'm supposed to make her. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. It, what you're saying, what you I'm just missing. Oh, man, I don't, don't want to do my hair. I want to look at y'all talk. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's best to stay to yourself. But sometimes, even if you stay to yourself, suck, suck and still get stuff started. I just don't say nothing. And let everyone else talk, right? Glad to see you feeling better. Thank you, Janice. Thank you. Anytime my hair is straight, I feel happy automatically. It's like automatic. It ain't that straight, though. Whatever. She's like, I'm going to cut that right there. I'm going to cut it. i cut that. Get up on the downstroke. Look at all that gray hair. Guys, I do not dye my hair. People think I dye my hair. I don't dye it. My hair is naturally dark. But I'm starting to see more and more gray. 
it seems like if my hair is braided for a few weeks and when I take it down, shampoo and blow dry, I'm like, there goes some more gray. No more cutting. Oh, Nisi, thank you. Her ain't that thin. When you go to the salon and they cut off extra inches because they're jealous. Yeah. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes if you don't know split ends and if the beautician cuts your hair higher and you think that's her, sometimes you just be wrong. They see, beauticians tend to see things different from us. And they tend to cut up higher because if we cut our own hair, we won't cut it as high. So they... They, like me, I cut above the split. I don't just do tippy tip. So like right here, can you see? Normally I would cut real, real high and get all of it, but I may not cut high. But I was told no, no more cutting. No more cutting, Nizzy. So my hair should be longer than this. Actually, uh, but I'm okay with the lift. I hate frizzy hair. Wish it was straight. <laughs> Mr. Dodger. Now, who is Mr. Dodger? Hello. I keep all. Ooh. I had you scared yesterday. Thought I would. Have to drive St. Louis, girl. <laughs> I, I sound like I was in a dark place yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, I was pretty, pretty irritated. I'm gonna give you all. I'm gonna do a um, Nancy got your lip video. It's gonna be a, like a little show of me just being my little self, and I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. It wasn't really that serious, but it's just annoying. People are annoying. Oh, I'm gonna keep my eyes up here. This light is so bright. When I take my eyes off of here and come over here and look at my uh, screen to see what you guys are chatting about, I have to adjust my eyes. So if I if it seems like I'm squinting, it's because this light is so bright. And then I turn around and look over there. It's like what in the world? What are y'all talking about? I keep all the snakes at my jaw right in front of me. <laughs> I ain't turning my back on none of them helps. I don't blame you. You got to keep your enemies close, girl, because you might be the next one. You might be the next victim. They victimize. So you guys going to see that coming up here is not going to be as hard to straighten. It's going to be real easy because the crown up here is different. You guys remember that one commercial back in the day when uh, they had... Uh, it was a conditioner commercial, and the hands used to go like this. Look at how healthy the hair is from the conditioner. And when I do that, I don't see hair popping up up the shaft because my hair is healthy. I used to, I used to be like, I want my hair to do that too. Look at all the hair, the health of the hair. So you don't see a bunch of split ends popping up throughout the shaft. Very good, Nizzy. Very good. That's too big. Get up on the downstroke. Everybody get up. I got a big old plate of flat iron. My flat iron plate is big. So I'm thinking, man, I need to break this section down. I don't have to break down no section because this is a big old plate. 1.75 inch. I think that's what it is. I can do this whole section. The sizzle. All right. Two passes is enough. Two passes is enough. Bring my eyeball. Guys, look at, look at my edges. Look, it's trying. This is supposed to be down here. So it's it's growing. It's finally trying to grow. 
Hey, hey. Them ends, got king in them. Hey, Shay Shay, her. Shay Shay's upstairs. She doesn't like being downstairs. She just getting to be an old lady. Mama. And then she want me to come upstairs with her. Show woman. I never, never want you. I know that you have No. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, who did fried chicken? That me. Is black woman that's the pickle? I don't know. They always keeping no on crap. Um, y'all just be talking. I'm just like, oh, my God. Is, is it not? No, it's not that high. It's only on 400. My buddy Davis said, don't have it on 14. She wanted me to turn down from the 400. She got scared. I'm like, why are you scared? Yo, why the phone keep moving? Oh, Lord. I don't know what's going on with phone. Two passes, Nancy. You in the front. You ain't got to keep going over. Over your hair. Every time I get right here, it sounds good. And then when I get down here, it goes bad ends. My hair ain't been, it ain't had no scissors in it since April. It's time for a trim. Not cutting, Nancy. No cutting. Trim, trim, trim. I want to cut this off right now. I do want to cut it right now. Right here, just cut it. Just cut it. Cut it. <sighs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you have more hair than my ex. What? What are you talking about? Move over. I keep hitting the mic. I have more hair than your ex. Your ex? My edges are finally trying to thicken up. Am I still missing hair up here? Of course I am. But it doesn't look as bad as it did about four or five years ago. I mean, there was no hair here. And I didn't even know it because I have so much hair to where I didn't even notice it was gone. And all of a sudden, I saw, started seeing a little sprouts of hair. I'm like, what's going on up there? My little hair was trying to fight and grow back in. Oh, man, I did not know I was bald. Still thin right there. But it's not as bad as it used to be. I don't like my ends. Who's fighting over a toilet brush? What? Yes, women compete with other women for a lot of things, especially raggedy men. Girl, you ain't lying. Like, why would I want to fight you over this piece of crap? He ain't even got no right foot. His foot gone. He ain't even got no foot in them fight. What the hell? You can have that broke foot, no foot fool. They don't do it either. Man, you think I'm, the, you, the one I'm really after, you don't even know. You ain't paying attention. Mm-mm. So guys, did we talk about this? Um, there's a difference. Do you know the difference between jealousy and envy? I may have said this before in my other video. We would think, <laughs> oh yeah, just no foot, broke foot. Mm -mm. This guy, my job, he got on my 
Oh, he got on my nerves. He wanted to be, he died too. He was an older guy. He got on my nerves so much, baby. Knowing he got uh, an illness, the, the, story, the letter D from eating, from eating too much sugar. I was, he's talk, he's uh, trying to be Mr. Cool Guy and I always want to, he, talk, he called himself trying to front me off in front of all the co my coworkers one day. He said, uh, he's because it was, I think this, it was this one guy, he was trying to run for shed captain. I'm sorry, he was trying to run for president, a uh, president of the union. And I was like, I wouldn't, I don't want one to vote for him because he's too soft spoken. I don't do well with soft spoken people who are supposed to be in a powerful authority position. If you talk like this, no, I'm not voting for you. You got to get out of here. And so that's what I said. So Dan, that was his name. Dan goes, oh, so the, the guy who was running for um for the position, he had he had uh came into the room. And so Dan gonna say, you know what? There he go right there. Say what you said when he wasn't in here. I said, man, shut your <laughs> caught him all kind of sugar foot. Shut your good sugar foot. <laughs> Worry about yourself trying to bust somebody out. Say what I say. I say what I want to say. I ain't got to say it in space. If I want to be two faced, I can be two faced. Worry about that foot you be finna get cut off. <laughs> that was not nice. You know who can cut people up? That niece, Mimi. <laughs> Mimi from um, the Housewives. Baby, you better be ready when Mimi. <laughs> you come after Mimi, you better be ready, baby, because she got some words for you. Because when she went off on. <laughs> I was dead when she talked about Wendy's um legs and told her she need to drain that water out of her, <laughs> out of her legs and put in a big old bucket. Baby, I couldn't do nothing but laugh. Oh, girl. I said, Mimi, no, you did not. Some people will rip you to shreds. And Wendy, with her little two-faced itself, she don't know who her friends are. She too high to know. Girl, but when Mimi told her to drain her... Her um big feet and her big old legs and calves, I was just done. I said, no. I was like, no, but I sure told you guys, you worry about your sugar foot, you sugar foot mother. Worry about who I'm what I'm talking about. Call that man a sugar foot. He ended up getting both of them legs cut off. They ain't end up dying. That was a long time ago when I, when I was real young. I was like in my 30s. Well, it could have been late 20s. Because you know when you're in your 20s, that's when you're like real ignorant. <laughs> to the max. It's a different kind of ignorance. We go through different stages of ignorance As we get older. So I can still get ignorant, but it's a, it's a different kind of way. My neck be growling, guys. Difference between... Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for reminding me because I'll be all over the place just talking. The difference the difference between envy and jealousy is... Because a lot of people think that's the same, but it actually is similar, but it's not the same. So I'll give an example. Jealousy is in between three people and envy is in between two people. Or jealousy can be between three or more people. So for example, say for instance... Um, I wanted some red bottoms and I can't get it because right now my money ain't right. But you, I'm going to say, uh, who am I going to say? I'm going to say Denia. Denia. You got the money to go get the red bottoms. Me and you cool. And you say, you know, I'm going to go get the red bottoms for me. So you go out and buy the red bottoms. Then you come and pick me up with them hot shoes on knowing that I wanted those shoes. So you got them before me. I got a problem with you. That's that's envy. I envy that you was you were able to get your shoes first. So let's just say, uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about jealousy. So envy was between me and the denier. Let's talk about jealousy. Jealousy is between three or more people. So I'm gonna say uh, rainy, rainy feather. So I'm seeing this guy. He's hot. And Denia is my friend. And we low key, Denia likes my guy. So somehow we say, you know what? Let's connect. Let's let's go meet each other in the uh in the back in the back room right quick and let's connect. 
in the end, <laughs> in the end, um, the guy that I'm seeing, he likes Denia more now. So he goes off and sneak around with her. And I'm I got a problem with that because I found out about it. That's jealousy. But then Denia says, Oh, you want to play with me? Because you found out that Rainy is messing with the same guy that I'm in, that was my guy at first. Now he's messing with, with uh Rainy. Now Eric, now you jealous of her. So you you was able to accept me for to being with him like that, but you got a problem with somebody else starts seeing this guy. So jealousy is in between two or more people. Usually jealousy is in between a triangle, the love triangle. Like, how are you going to get mad at a cheater when he cheating on you and everybody doing him in the back in the back door, in the back room? So, he's community. We shouldn't be all wrapped up into this little one man, but we are. So, yep. Yeah, jealousy is in between three people, or maybe more, and envy is in between two people. I'll give an example. My cousin, I don't know if she's watching this or not, but oh well, she is. <laughs> Her, uh, she always wanted a Corvette. One of her guy friends went and got a brand new 2020 Corvette and broke out on her. Say, hey, look what I got. And she, she said, I feel some kind of way. Yeah, it's called envy. That's what it's called. Those are the feelings you feel. You're feeling envy. Because she got that car probably so. She just chose not to get it. He just went on and got it. So now that he got it, she got a problem with him having it. And she said, I still like him. And I just don't know how to feel right now. I said, yeah, I just feel envy. That's all. Envy and jealousy is perfectly normal. It's when you act out on those things, acting all stupid and busting out windows and keying cars. And when you start acting stupid about your feelings, that's when it's a problem. Jealousy is more emotional. Yes. It can get people hurt. Yeah. Ooh, y'all just talking. Yeah, jealousy is very emotional. Jealousy gets somebody hurt or even, even get yourself hurt. I let this cheater live their lives. It ain't for me. I, okay, Duddy, uh, what you say, Randy? What the hell is a Duddy be with? Be with? I don't know if they need to be there. True pop. True pop, but jealous. Jealousy, I believe, can be between two people. It could be about you and who you are. No, that's envy. Envy is, is like I said before, it's very, very similar. But envy is in between two people. So if you feel some kind of way like that, it's because you're envious. I'm going to give you an example. My ex-boyfriend, he messed me up. He was, ugh. he was something to deal with. And then I realized, I realized low key, he was competing against me. I said, why does it feel like he always can compete against me? So I used to tell him, if you're competing against me, you ain't going to win. So. so he said something to me one day and it hit me. I said, wait a minute, are you jealous of me? He said, no. He said, I am a little envious. I'm like, ain't that the same thing? So I, behind his back, I went and looked up the, um, the, the meanings of both words. And I said, oh, that's why he said, no, I'm not jealous of you. I am a little envious. Oh, the chat room, stop moving. <laughs> Y'all stop. Y'all ain't chatting now. I can't stand this. Don't pull it out. <laughs> Leave the great family for you. I can't stand the fake great, the great family members. I can't stand it. I'm getting gray everywhere. Well, on my head. I don't see no gray nowhere else. But then my stomach's so big, I can't see no way. So there might be some gray down there. I can't even really lift my stomach up. Would you please go away? Mm. Da -da -da. Bye, Mr. Gray. Ugh. Can't stand you. Hey. Mm. Ouch, said the gray hair. <laughs> Get out of here. Look at all this gray. One, two. Yeah. Ooh, 
where he come from? If I pulled out all this grain, y'all just be here all day. Yeah, but jealousy and envy is very, very similar. So it's just, only thing that's different is it's just the amount of people that's involved. That's all. All right, where we at? You know what, guys? I had um, used a curly cream to twist, to um, braid my hair up. It seemed like every time I use a cream like that, like a curl style cream, make my scalp itch. I be feeling like I'm itchy. I need some oil on my scalp. I might grease my scalp. I don't know. I have way more hey hair than Nancy, like 85%. I have way more hair than Nancy, like 85%. The whole oh Lord. Girl, you got way more hair than me. I did. That is that's a lot. When you get older, all that hair is silver gray will be beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna be bald. I'm gonna take it all off. No, don't say that. That gray hair, I don't care about it. You, you get out of my life. You get out of my hair, Mr. Gray. Get out of my hair, Mr. Gray. I probably would have been finished this if I was uh, by myself. No, no, I wouldn't because I'd be on the phone or looking at a movie. I'm just slow. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Hey, Christine. How are you today? I'm almost finished. I'm happy. Wait till your eyelashes and eyebrows turn gray. Oh my God, I'm just going to shave my face off. <laughs> Y'all going to see me, I ain't going to have no, no nothing. I ain't going to have nothing. I ain't going to have nothing. Just going to be lips. I'm going to shave everything off. It's just going to be a blank, round, brown face with lips. I don't want to see no gray in my eyebrows and eyelashes. Oh, that depresses me just thinking about it. Go away, little gray. Go away. Yeah, that's true about um, finding some cool friends and keeping them as you get older. Man, it's so true. It's hard to um, keep friends. It was hard to keep friends a little bit when you're younger, but now you be like, uh-uh. Or they may say, uh-uh to you. Because I'm so into my who I am. My little ways, people can't tolerate me sometimes. Because I'm outspoken, I talk crazy, I'm always saying crazy stuff, I'm always doing something goofy. And if you are very, very serious and uptight, and your lips look like this all the time, you ain't going to like me. If you are a person that's really heavy into Jesus and stuff like that, you ain't going to like me. Can you please act like a lady? I don't want to act like no damn lady. What the hell that mean? Oh, that means you want me to act like how you think I should act. Can you please stop talking like that? That's inappropriate. You can always take the next bus smoking, bitch. I'm not going to stop being me. I don't feel like it. I'm too old. This is who I am. Now, I will try to make some adjustments and calm down some, but I got to, you know, do everything because you don't like it. Then you can go kick rocks. Go on and be around somebody who, who flow like you, fool. And you can kind of like tell when you get older, who gonna be able to handle you, or if you can be able to hand, handle them? So if you're a Jesus freak, I already know, know right out the gate. Now nah, you ain't gonna like me. If you married, I don't want to be around you. I don't want to. You know what? This sounds mean. I do not want no married friends. No man. They really be on some bull crap. They will play you if you are a single woman. Hey, hi, baby. People have to love you for you. That's right. If not, you don't love me for me. Bye. I ain't got to. I'm at the point now in my life, I don't have to. I don't have to deal with you. No, ma'am. But if you are a married woman and you stand me up for that man, that'll be your last time being my friend. Don't play me for him. 
No, I have, don't play me for nobody. <laughs> that's, that's not like me. I'm not going to play nobody. I'm not putting nobody on a back burner because of somebody else. Yes, things do come up to where you have to. So you know what? I can't do it today. But if it's like a regular everyday thing, mm -mm. I don't want no married friend. Somebody asked me, one of my babies, I think it was Melody. Nancy, you got family? Yeah, I got family. I just have a loner type personality sometimes because people want you to be a certain way. And I choose not to do that. I ain't got to be around nobody. My mommy said it was the only child syndrome because my, my mother only had one child and I grew up as an only child. So I'm okay with being by myself. It's peaceful anyway. Sometimes I do want to be around friends and family. And when I do, I go be with them. And when I don't, I don't be with them. I don't have to have people around me every day. I don't have to call nobody every day. I don't have to do nothing with people every day. But I think that, that got something to do with um, being a bus driver for a long time. And a combination of me being an only child and liking to be by myself naturally. So I think it's a combination of things. We almost done. For my little slow self. My beautician would have had all this hair straight within like 45 minutes. I mean, bone straight. When I did that video of her um, flat under my hair, y'all, some of y'all was mad at her. <laughs> Nancy, I don't like how she tossed your head around. Nancy, I don't like how straight she got your hair. You look like you ain't got no hair in the top. You guys, I don't know y'all, but y'all can get real protective. You don't want y'all to. It has to be on your own time. Yeah. Yeah, I have two siblings, but I like being by myself. I'm a true introvert. Hey, rock star. My daddy was a rolling stone. What you laughing at, Adrian? Nancy, your hair is really, has really grown. It's so beautiful. Thank you. To me, my hair was this length or longer last year in December, but I cut it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can be introverted sometimes. But most of the times, I'm just out of control. <laughs> I be so I say the I say some bad stuff, guys. That's what's cool about being an editor. You can edit all that stuff out. But when you do live videos and talk like that, YouTube gonna get me. And YouTube has gotten me too. Let me see if I'm still monetized. I probably said something wrong. They probably said, "Nah, you ain't monetized no more." Let me check. Let me click refresh. Hey, I'm still in the green. I'm still being monetized. I'm doing a good job. I'm not saying bad words and calling people uh, bad names and saying bad stuff. Hey, I'm doing good. See, when you when you are doing live, you have to be really filtered because YouTube said, uh, uh, uh. You know, I'm wondering, is it the reason why we have to watch what we say or watch what we do now because... The advertisers don't want to pay us if we're acting a certain way. So I'm wondering, is this a bunch of Jesus freaks? Like, what kind of life do you have that nobody can say anything out the way? You got a boring ass life, but we can't be ourselves. So a lot of YouTubers, video, old videos from seven, seven, eight years ago are getting demonetized because they are saying things in there that the advertisers don't want to pay for. So all those prank videos and uh, oh, the reaction videos, they're not getting paid for that. For one thing, reaction videos be having a lot of uh, uh, music in there that YouTube say no copyrights. Copyright, copyright, copyright. If you're saying a lot of stuff that's inappropriate, if you're doing a lot of stuff that's inappropriate, you're not gonna get paid for it. Back in the day, when it, when we hit, when this was called YouTube and it was actually YouTube, anything went, everything goes on YouTube. Not now. They gotta be like this. Okay, the advertisers don't like when you say those things. So I had asked you guys a few days ago, what would you guys like to see from me? And a lot of some of you guys said reaction videos. So if I did a reaction video, I have to really, really not put it in my video. Maybe just talk about it and then. Give you the link to it or something like that. I don't know how I can do that. But a lot of those reaction videos, those people don't they don't get paid. All them people talking about uh, SEX and stuff. And am I finished? Oh, 
A lot of those people are getting paid on their videos. So I'm trying to get paid as much as I can. No new friends. My oldest brother is 43 and I'm 31. Oh yeah, a youngin. Wasn't interested in, in making new friends. Hmm, that's what De Denia says. Nizzy, are you going to curl it after you straight? No, I'm thinking about trying to wrap it up. I got my head scarf here. Because it is like, it's only 641. This ain't late like a mug. This ain't late. I'm thinking it's nine o'clock. <laughs> ain't no nine o'clock. No, I'm not going anywhere. I don't think. I should go drive my truck though, because it can't sit. I haven't driven it in two days. I might take a ride around the block just to get the fuel running and running or moving. But yeah, guys, those reaction videos, you can't say something. I don't know. Uh some of y'all say you want to do some makeup, want to see me do my makeup. And one thing about the makeup videos, they take 15 hours to edit. I mean, the whole process with that is so much. So what I may do is have a, um, get, you know, um, not it's a get, get ready with me, but I call it, what I call it, Nezzy, Nezzy Beauty Chat and Naps or whatever it's called. I may do that one day. Maybe I'll just do that live. Put, do my hair and makeup on here live. That way I don't have to sit there and edit all that stuff. It just takes too long to do. It takes too long to do uh, makeup videos. Like, if you see a video that's 30 minutes long, that's because they cut a lot of stuff out to get it that short. And then they have to go back and re-edit it all those 30 minutes and then make sure everything makes sense. You got to go back over and so that means you got if you got to re-edit your video and check it like four times, that means you sitting there for four times 30 was an hour, four to, I don't know, 12, uh, two hours just going back and back and back and back and back and back. No, I don't want to do them long videos like that no more. My natural hair videos, them long ones, when I was doing 30 minutes, that took a long time to edit. I'm like, I'm not even getting paid that much money off these videos to be sitting here that long. So maybe we can do, because you guys like to chit chat. Uh, you guys said, well, and is it, can you do some more chit chat videos? So maybe I can just do my hair and makeup and chit chat with you that way on some Fridays. How about that? You like that idea? I don't know. 738 in your state, or are you going to trim? I'm thinking about trimming, girl. They say no. You know, every time I fall out a pair of scissors, everybody say no in harmony. Yeah, I want to see that too. Okay, cool. So, so some of you guys say, do, do some makeup, reaction videos, chit chat. Okay, cool. Girl says sounds good. People don't know. Making videos, editing is it is, it is a lot, guys. And then you want everything to be perfect, and then me being who I am, who I am, I'm always doing something goofy in my video. So I'm I be remixing and stuff. I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah, girl talk. So let me go to to that. Uh, am I finished? I think I am. Let me see something right quick. So guys, it ain't even straight, but it's straight enough. And after a few days, after wrapping it, it'll um, it'll lay better. Girl, if you don't get that weight off of you, I've been looking at myself like, would you please get that weight off of you? All right, I got the wrong chair. Can y'all see my hair? Let me comb it out. This part right here. This kinky, this kinky part right here, boy. I, I didn't get it that straight. I should go down right here. Right down the center. Sounds like an afro back there. So no, my hair doesn't have much movement. My beautician may have my hair flowing over there. Do what makes you feel good. I will watch. Thank you. So sweet. That's my baby. She's always been sweet to me. That's Christine in real life. How long do you keep your hair straight? Girl, I've been keeping my hair straight as long as I can, like two or three weeks. It seems like it be itching though. Seems like it starts itching. Um, seems like it starts itching like after seven to ten days. I've been trying to keep it as long as I can. 
I wonder should I oil my scalp? Mm -hmm. Let's put some. Let's put some um, Miss Jessie's gloss so good. In. That's what it looks like. I love the way it smells. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it made it blacker. It made my hair darker. Make me cough. This is a light oil. I can see y'all moving the chat in between my hair. Who asked them about Shay Shay? Who that there? They have them cooked flat irons in the salon. Yeah, they do. Water base. What looks water base? This looks water base. Mm -mm, this don't have no water in it. This is oil. It doesn't even have doesn't even have alcohol in it. I don't think. Can you do shopping vlogs? I can do shopping vlogs. The only thing is, um, if I do a shopping vlog, I can't. The music they be playing in the malls will get me demonetized. I don't even shop. I'm an online shopper. What am I talking about? Looks all right. Okay. Like, like a night with Nizzy. Yep. <laughs> Wipe sweat. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do this part right here one more time. That is too big of a chunk. That was the hair that never, that little part I just did, that was the hair that never really grew until I closed it up at nighttime before I went to bed. True greasy, baby. Greasy hair. I don't like all that grease in my hair. I don't like greasy hair. I know. I like grease. Okay, that's good enough. I feel like a wig like that. <laughs> ah, can we get Nazzy more likes in the night? Hey, thank you. You look like the grudge. I know, right? <laughs> My hair is resilient. I never fly on it because of it. Hey, I know, right? Grease is your friend. I know. I love Grease too. That's what Mitch said. That's all right. Mm, that's how long I want my hair to grow. This is a nice length. And it might be the reason why I keep cutting it. Do what makes you feel happy. All right. Let's see something. <laughs> Ouch, that back is still kinky. Hmm. Get up on a downstroke. Ear to ear. Let me see if I can trim a little bit off right here since I'm since I'm already here. Maybe I can trim a little bit, just a little bit. I need my I need my mirror though. I need my mirror. I don't know. You can do an online shopping blog. I don't know about that one because I don't want to uh, 
messed up. I mean, like, I don't want to use my credit card. I don't know. I don't want to mess up and be like, and here's what I just purchased and got my whole information, my whole life on, on there. Y'all steal my stuff. That's what happened to Patrick Starr. He had put up a $500 gift card on his video. Somebody had wrote down his numbers off that card before he got off that video. Baby, they had stole all his stuff. All his all his uh, money off his card from I think it was a Safari card or Alta. So did he saying here goes my card? Somebody was just like this. <laughs> Shoo! While he was <laughs> while he was on that video, they was they spent his spent his stuff up. I said hell no. Shows are relaxing. Yeah, that's just talking stuff. Cousin it. <laughs> Let's see something. Let me see if I use this comb. Yeah, this do. Now this is what I do. Oh my god! See, that's why I need to. That's why I need a beautician. I might go to my friend house. Let her trim my hair for me. I asked my letter trim. I had a V in the back. She trimmed all that V off. Whoa. <laughs> that V was long, too. It won't hurt, will it? Will it hurt? I'm going to do it while I'm here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, it, if I cut it off too short, oh, well, it's y'all fault. Y'all thought I cut it too short. Come on, scissors. If I cut my hair off, it's y'all fault. Shouldn't let me cut it no way. Hmm. That ain't too much. That ain't too much, is it? Ain't too much. If it is, oh well. Ain't the first time I mess my hair up. I can actually comb through my hair. All right, so let's go on this side. Ooh, all this oil on my um, laptop. I forget to do grow. I forgot about Glover's veins. Ooh, what's this? Oof. Now it's really short. I might just let it be just long on one side. Just let it stay long on one side. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nancy, you ain't doing that right now, so much shit. I don't need that much hair, no way. I just need some hair. I still need to cut that up to here. That was, that's obviously shorter. That is obviously short. Or maybe I have it parted wrong. Well, I don't care. Mm -mm. My neck be doing a strange sound. I be growling. Like, what's your neck be growling for? Get out of my way. It's just hair. Man. That's going to be short. Oh, well.
Fizzy, you finna cut all your hair off again. Oh well. Now that was long. But guys, I've always had a problem with the uh, left side of my front hair. It was growing, it was thin because when I had those tree braids, that girl messed my hair up. You cutting it too short. You cutting it too short. Oh, well, let's cut it. Nancy, Nancy, you are cutting your hair too short. That's too much. Oh, so what? I could do another hair challenge and be ready for next December. Ouch. Hey guys, you know somebody that hair grows really long, but they don't mind keeping it cut short or cutting it whenever they feel like it. Because some people actually get upset when somebody else cuts their hair and it grows long. See, this looks like ugh. Nancy, now you didn't cut all that pretty hair off. And so what? Who needs hair? It's lopsided. What will it look like when I point it down the middle? You don't know what you're doing with your hair, so what? I ain't got to know what I'm doing with my hair. this here. Good enough. It looks a little bit more even. Still a little bit shorter over here. Thank you. Who flat? Oh, she flat irons with um, raw, raw, royal crown greens. Hi, Williams J. Looks great. Thank you. So yeah, guys, if I did, if I did another hair challenge, I can probably get four and a half to six inches more hair next year. If I just left it alone, braided it up, and did my little juices and berry routine, I can get hair down to here. But see, like last year, it was a little, it was longer than this at this time. I hope the back looks okay. We good. Uh, have you tried castor oil? I've never tried castor oil by itself. I've always tried um, castor stuff, stuff, uh, products with castor oil in it. But like natural castor oil by itself, no. I just shaved my head bald, but it's going back way too quick. <laughs> okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just now it's cold outside. You gotta keep your head warm. It's a whole lot healthier now and it's fuller on the ends. Yeah, it is. 
It is cooler on the ends. It was looking real thin and see-through. Let me tell you something. My beautician would have this hair hanging down longer and straighter. And more body. Oh well, guys. Uh, it looked like a whole lot of help, and now it's full on ends. Thank you. Because my ends ain't been trimmed since April, so here it is like December. It's like eight months. Thank you, popcorn. How do you keep your ends moisturized? in your protective styles. Well, my hair stays moisturized because I keep it um, braided and twisted. And so I don't really need a lot of moisturizer, but if I feel like I do need some, I just put some more moisturizer on the ends and just keep it tucked away. So if I kept my ends tucked away for another year, I have a nice little length of hair. But I think I just like this length because I looked at my videos. I'm like, girl, your hair look like the same length. You cut it back off. I think I just like this length. So let's see if I can uh, wrap it up. This is the hard part. Because is this thing still on? Let me turn this off. Oh. Oh, okay. It doesn't shut right off, it fades out. The light fades out. I was thinking it was still on. But it's gonna be hard to wrap up because my hair is not actually molded this way. But we gonna see. So let me get my little hair, my scarf situated now. Put in a triangle, have it sitting out. Cause this is the most annoying part. Which way do I wrap? I go this way. Then this way, my hair have a nice shape to it when I take it down. My hair is in my lip gloss. Now guys, don't fuss at me because I am not the best rapper. Why I got my hair so far back here? Oh well. I can only cross wrap. What's a cross wrap? Take one side and go one way and the other side the other way. What is your protective hairstyle? My hair normally just stays in two, two strand twist or wigs. My full protective style is are my wigs. My what's it called? Uh, full protective style and uh, protective style. And what's the other one? I forgot the other one. I just uh, just leave my hair twisted and braided, and then I. will Pull my hair in a ponytail in the back. Just so I don't dry your hair out. Mm. No. No, because I be having all, all my juices and berries in it and stuff. Mm -mm. Uh, I found that this, the, the cotton scarf stay on your on my hair better. It don't slide off. I hate when scarves slide off my head after I did all that wrapping. And so the cotton is drier and it stays on better versus satin satin be too silky and just slide off I don't want my I don't want my hair wrap um slide off my head but I have so much oil in it and stuff it, it doesn't break it this is my round brush and I tell you this brush seems like it it makes my hair look straighter. All right, here we go. I hate wrapping my hair. I like the beehive. We got my hair I cut off.
So the wrap's gonna add like a little shake to my hair. Who the f Who calling me? That is the grocery store. That is the pharmacist calling me about my medication, my blood pressure medication. Now, do you guys have, um, if you have like a certain medication you're supposed to take on a regular basis, does your pharmacist just call you and say, hey, you need to make a, re a refill because you haven't taken your medication according to our calculations. I don't even know if I even need to be on um, 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 blood pressure medication anymore because I don't have a stressful job. But I was told once you have once you start taking that medicine, you have to take it for the rest of your life. So I don't know. Oh, they, they text you. Oh, it's Ladybug. Hi, Ladybug. As someone who never had super long hair, I hope that it be longer next year. You know, let my hair be longer. Oh, you can hope your hair be longer. If you uh come up with a routine and keep it protected, it'll be longer. It sure will be. What have I done? See what I'm saying? That's why I don't like wrapping my hair. Is that another gray? Oh, there better not be no gray. All right, let me go and wrap this up. Hold it down like that. Look at me, me and my fumble fingers. What is my bigger brush? I might need my bigger one. I got two of these. Rawr. Okay, I got this going around that way. This round brushing does really well with wrapping my hair up. All right. I think I'm getting it, guys. Go around. All right, I don't like this part right here. So hold this down and swoop, 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 swoop. And we're gonna see what it looks like when I take it down. That's what it looks like. That's not so bad. Here goes the, uh, the other part that's challenging. Get it down. In between. Ain't your mom on the front of the pancake box? Get in there. Ouch. I feel like my hair is being pulled. Oh, well. Let's do this. Bring you down this way. And tie you on the other, on the outside. How about that? There's always more than one way to spin a cat. So if you don't want to go in the other way, I'm going to put you in the other way. Mm -mm. I feel my hair in this uh, knot. This is why I hate wrapping my hair up. Get in there. I don't want no headache. You go over there. And what is on my eye? And you go over here. Get in there. I think we good. If not, oh well. So, <laughs> there guys, I got it. <sighs> I got 76 likes on the live. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. I don't think I ever had those many likes on the live, I don't know. You need a bigger scarf. You need a bigger scarf? 
I don't need no bigger scarf. I know I got a big head. I don't need no bigger scarf. <laughs> now she can put a bonnet over. Yep, yeah, that's what I usually do. I put a bonnet. You're right. I put a bonnet over this. And then it. I can't get off my ear. I can't stand being on my ear. And then um, it stays in one spot. I don't like that. There. I'm done. Finally. Where's Shay Shay? Shay upstairs. She's probably looking for me. The struggle is real. I know, right? My hair's a bit longer than yours. I couldn't wrap my hair even if my life depended on it. I know, bitch. Look, wrapping your hair is not easy. It is not easy and it's not fun. Especially if you heard not even molded. Hi, Simply. You made it. Hey, since I've been listening to you at work, but couldn't talk. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. As long as you're in the mix, girl. As long as you're in the mix. So I get to put everything away. Can we see Shay Shay? Uh, if she ain't nothing funny, because she's upstairs. Yeah, my girl, a tummy rub. <laughs> why did why did YouTube? Block, not block. Here's your, here's your um, comment. I sure will. My hair refuses to wrap. Hey, everybody. Oh, William J said, we can, can we see Shay Shay? And, okay, I already read that. Girl, shitty shitty ain't coming down here. Her little funny acting but I can call. Y'all see, you all see how she does when I call her. If she doesn't want to be bothered, she's not going to get up. She's not going to do anything unless I really hammer down on her. And I'm like, ugh. She is so stubborn and it, she said her little old lady ways. I, I, I looked at her recently and said, my baby is actually older. She's an old girl. And she does old girl stuff. That goes upstairs. And sometimes she ain't gonna, um, she is not gonna act right. I don't even think I feel like her knowing because she's gonna come downstairs, look at me with one eye, go back upstairs or whine. Like, I don't want to be down here. Only time she'll be down here with me is if she um she don't really even do that. She used to look out the look out the patio door and look and see the birds and stuff. Or New Year's Eve, guys, she'd be right here. She hate this basement. Above my head. She does not like the basement because it's not carpeted. And it's, oh, that needs to stay up here. And it's not princess enough. So she likes pampered princess pooches, pooches, luxury stuff. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like the live. Thank you, Emily. Thank you for coming to show the girl love. Thank you, Emily. Does Shay Shay ever smile? Oh, Shay Shay always smiles. When I turn the video on, she don't want to smile though. She always looks stone faced. But oh yeah, she got a big old, really big old pit bull smile. You know how pit bulls went? <laughs> she got a really, really big smile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she smiles. Like when we have company, she really smiles. She be like, Mama, we got company. We got friends. No, I have friends. You don't got no friends. So she think my friends are her friends. As soon as they walk through the door, she has her toy waiting on them. She brings them her toy, drop it on the floor, and smile real big like, hey, I'm glad you came over to see me. I'm like, uh, no, you came over to see me. Uh-huh. So, yeah, guys, that's, oh, let me finish looking at um, your suggestions. Where are my glasses at? Mm, suggestions. I keep thinking this is my um, touch screen laptop. This laptop is mainly for live streaming because I want you guys to have a better uh, viewing, ex viewing, viewing experience although I can't crop this out. I'm, I don't think y'all mind. No way. Okay, this is not this is not. Do you do protein treatments? Yep. Now, I have not done one in a while so I need to do one. Alrighty. Okay, you guys left me 28 comments on the community tab. Uh, when I ask you guys, what would you like to see? 
scroll down. Oh, All right, Happiness Smile says, I really enjoy when you show your full workout videos. It makes me get off my butt to join you. I also love when you occasionally cook. I don't know why you guys like when I cook. That, that, that food I be cooking be so wrong. It be greasy. <laughs> oh, I need to get back into the gym. Uh, it would be cool if you could do a live workout and cook. With you in the live stream yard. Oh, in the stream yard or Zoom when you figure it out. All right. So I figured out what was going on with my live stream for stream yard when my um, audio wasn't working. Excuse me. I took my um, laptops up to Best Buy. And as soon as they plugged it up into my speakers, both laptops worked. Because this laptop down here wasn't working and the one upstairs wasn't working. So I'm like, what happened? So either, um, either... Either Windows did an update, or maybe maybe I took the laptops out the house to make them act right. I don't know, but the audio works now. Hmm. So you can either do do it with your StreamYard or Zoom when you figure it out. You can post in your community tab, community post the dish and work out on the day so we can prefer to join you. Those who want to to in the be in the live, I think that's what she said. Now, one thing about the workout. My clothes are too little, and I look like a cornball, and I can't play the music in the videos because I use video tapes when I work out. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. Nori says, Nori Hicks says, talk, oh, girl talk, feeling confident, not caring what other, others think, living with no regrets, blessings of singleness. What would you have told your younger self? Now, I've talked about all these things, but what have I told you? Told, what, what I've told my younger self, now that's a good one. Let me write that down too. Write that down. I was going to write all these down. I said, the hell with that. Because there's so many of them. I ain't writing them down. But whenever I want to do a video, I'm going to come back to this uh, post. And see. Because actually I do a lot of these already. All right. Muriel says, life in general, retirement, choosing happiness, your single lifestyle, reaction to what's happening in your our world event beauty tips. Oh, so I do a little bit of beauty, not much. Uh, reaction to what's happening in a world event. I could do that with my with my talk show. Retirement. I talk about retirement a little bit. Choosing happiness. I talk about that. Your single lifestyle. I guess I talk about that a little bit because ain't nothing going on. Like you can't really be with nobody. Uh, too much now because of the pandemic and life in general. So yeah, I do talk about life in general. RP says, what'd she say? I like when you take us around town with you, like I was trying to do yesterday because I because I've never been in the Midwest. I live in the Northeast and since it's not good to travel these days, I would love to see more of St. Louis. So it's not good for her to travel, travel but it's good for me to go out there and get shot by my no, I'm just playing. <laughs> St. Louis, no, they be they be in the they in the top five or ten of bad city to live. Rhonda says, "Oh my, I see autumn in your face, and it's wonderful. Your palette choice is thumbs up. I will love videos on makeup, uh, or now this is a cool one here, or to have wind down Wednesdays, a way for people to discuss the topic, real life scenarios you you choose, and we." The audience just give feedback on how we would handle the situation. Now that's a good one. Now I did look up Wind Down Wednesdays to see if anybody else was doing that, and there are other people ugh, who are doing that. So um, we actually now actually on my Friday Night Lives, we actually do talk about real life scenarios and uh, give feedback on how to handle the situation. So actually, I kind of like do that. I just do it on Fridays. Today I just chose to do my hair. Because I know you all like to see my hair sometimes, although I don't want to be in my head. I said, well, you know what? Let them be in your head tonight and have a conversation with them. So you have to kind of like do that. And then she said, um, it could be fun that someone else may be, as dare as I say, whimsical or flat out cray cray as everybody else be. But as every anybody else, but in a good way. Sorry, I text more than I talk. <laughs> so yeah, we, we clown on Friday nights. We be clowning, don't we, guys? We be having all kind of conversations. No, you don't, Smith. 
Who, who, who he talking to? Was it a Bluetooth or another speaker? I don't know what was going on. When I took it to Best Buy, they both of those laptops worked perfectly. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm so late. It's okay, natural girl. It's okay. It's always okay to step on in. Hi, sissy. Hope you're feeling good today. I like when you go live while you shop. That was, I, I enjoyed that. Uh, you two tried to demonetize me because of the overhead music in the mall. And luckily, the last song in the video was the one song that got copywritten. I didn't get a strike against my account, though. So I just muted the last three minutes of that video, but that was fun. So that the only risk about doing live videos when you go into these stores, they play that music. So either I go in there and don't get paid, or I just don't go in there. Or I can do a video as a video instead of a live. That way I can edit out the music. Uh, uh, Rashia says, I would love to see you do reaction videos to pop-up videos. You can have a great voice. Oh, you have a great voice and you're funny. Yo, what up, God? You like my voice good. Thank you. So I can do a reaction video, but I can't put their videos in my videos because for one thing, hi Andy. Uh, for one thing, um, like I said, oh, we put this on silent because my cousin on the prowls. She loves her, she loves Instagram. She loves sharing Instagram posts. But um, but yeah, the music in these malls be getting me in trouble. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, reaction videos. So the music can get me in trouble. Then um, the crazy graphic things they talk about in those videos, I'll get in trouble. But I can, I do want to do a, I do want to do a video response to this one guy. I do. So I might do a video response to him. I don't think he'll get mad like uh Mr. Mississippi like like he did last year. Y'all remember that? People, ooh, okay. Anyway, um BS Stand 4 says, natural hair being gray and dye. What do you do when it doesn't last? Like I said, people think I dye my hair. I don't dye my hair. So, but what I've learned from other people with gray hair. You can just keep down all you want to, and the gray hair gonna do what it want to do. Just let it be gray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you remember uh, JoJo says, uh, "Oh yes, yeah, a classic." Yeah, Happy Holidays, Annie. Oh, I remember that lady. She was something else. Yeah, she she's talking about all you gotta do. See people, see people like Nancy. All you gotta do is, you know, I can't say. Uh, uh, I'll just say C R A C K in the head, cause see she crazy. Yeah, whatever you think I am, B I B I I am that one. Cause you think you're gonna crack me in my head, you're gonna catch me, you're gonna catch one when one of my friends. No ma'am. Can you do a protein treatment on YouTube? I've already got one. I got a playlist of I got a whole lot of not a whole lot, but I got a few videos on protein treatments. So guys, all you gotta do is click on my username, it'll bring you to my homepage. And it'll show you my videos, playlists, and channels, all that. So just go on my YouTube, uh, name, click on my name, and it'll bring you to all that. I got a playlist filled with protein treatments. Yeah, she must, I don't know, that, I guess that's her way of expressing her feelings that she didn't like what I did, so she wants to talk about threatening folks. Oh, girl, please, you'll catch one, you'll catch two, you'll catch three, I don't play. I don't want to play with me. Don't leave me alone. Uh, okay, so Andy says, oh, my hair is in two... Girl, my hair is in two strands, two strand twists. I got to go back, watch the video you straighten your hair today. Oh, ooh, it's long. We just doing some girl talking, but it's a list. I, I think we've been on here. How long have we been on here? Live stream. Ooh, two hours and 25 minutes. That's a long time. All right, uh, scroll on down. Yolanda Jennings says, oh my goodness. Your makeup is gorgeous. I love that lipstick. Maybe you can do another cook with me. There goes some more cooking. Or a live stream. You girls like live streams. You could even tell us you're going to cook the ingredients we would need and cook along with you. That's a good idea. I can do that. I don't have a cooking live stream. I'm messy, guys. There'd be stuff everywhere. I'll be looking at these little professional uh, cooking videos. They be so clean and neat. Girl, I'll be having sauce all on the ceiling and stuff in my eyebrows and stuff. I don't be looking like that. 
you know what? Like I said before, it's just easier easier for me to be me, and I just be me now. I don't feel like being professional looking. That's why I'm wearing my makeup sometimes. I be looking like Lord. Would you please not come on here looking like that? So yeah, I can uh, I can do my makeup on here. That way, I don't have to edit. What uh, is your favorite dish to cook? My favorite is fried chicken. I don't know what it is about that. Thank you, Annie. She said, I make it always look nice. Very nice. Thank you. Guys, do y'all know that one video I made? I made two videos in the same outfit. That one video of me uh, with the blue shirt on, with the blue eyeshadow. It took me like two or three hours to do that face. Because I just sat down and I just put my makeup on. Then I made a mistake. I had to take some off. But that makeup on there, I really like that one. A lot of people think black women can't wear blue, blue eyeshadow, but Oh, I got a picture. I don't know if y'all can see. Now, my other friend, she texts me. I'm glad I put my phone on silent. That makeup's so cold. Oh, and I'm going to be on a panel with my um, my little my little sister. We got the same father. And her uh, two other girlfriends. We're going to, just, we're going to be talking about entrep entrepreneurship and how to make money. Now, Oh my girl, my little channel here. I don't really make a lot of money on my channel. But I'm, I'm gonna have to look other like I know what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys about that as we get closer. Ooh, look at that video. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do I know what it It might not be on here. See, this is where um StreamYard would be good for me to show photos because I can just show you the photo on the live stream. So I might I might re, I might revisit StreamYard again. I love the Tangle with Me videos. Those are nice. The only thing, the only reason why I want to do it because I don't want that conditioner and stuff all over my live stream. But I can do. Uh, I mean, I've already done it, detangling on camera. So I may do that because that's fun. I do like doing that. Those videos are long, and so I'm starting to leave a lot of lot of stuff in. My videos, I don't really do a lot of editing no more because it's too long. Everything's just too long. Mm -hmm. All right. So, freeze back a minute. <laughs> uh, Kim Light says, with every glam pick and style, do you allude towards a different persona? Like, are you Nessie Naps or Brown Sugar Babe? I don't know how to behave. Yeah, my friends say, hey, all your pictures look different. You don't look the same. So I like to change my eyebrow shape. I like to change my hair. I like to change my um, makeup. Sometimes I go real heavy. Sometimes I don't go as heavy. Oh, I want to, let me see something live. This, can you all, no, it's blue. It bleached me out. It bleached me out. I don't know. But that makeup took like two or three hours. Can you imagine me doing a re recording a video that long? This one girl named Jamie French said it took her 15 hours. It takes them. I've even heard Jackie say it take her seven or eight hours. It. Ooh, girl. That scared me. Um, it took them seven, eight hours just to record a full face makeup of makeup like that. Oh, my God. Uh, it's frustrating doing makeup videos, too, because if you got your camp, if you got your... Um, mirror right here you got to make sure you like this and so you want to be blocking the camera and then you got to find where your brushes are and it's just it's just too much whereas if i do it as a live then i can be comfortable and i ain't gonna be trying to be all professional stella says she wants to see makeup and fashion i ain't got no fashion guys you if you notice i wear the same thing over and over and over i have never been into fashion thank you stella she said your makeup be on point i love in the very lip very sexy uh, Twinkie, she says, more girl talk videos and story times. You guys like story times. I can still do them. I love and appreciate your stuff on hair grease. Could you talk about growing the hairline and the effects of head scarves on the hairline? Gray hair products to use on gray hair. Again, I don't have no gray hair like that. Love you all the way from France. Oh, thank you. So we talked about I've already talked about growing the hairline. Hair scarves. Nobody's interested in hair scarves on my channel. So that's why I'm going to talk about hair, hair scarves. 
Uh, mm, hmm. Um, that's a compliment. Scroll down. Come on. Uh, can you do a video about how to prepare for retirement and how to budget your money after retirement? Also, when you're used to working full time, what do you do to pass the time once you have retired? Well, most of you guys know that I do YouTube. Um, for my spare time, and can you do a video on preparing for retirement? Ah, I don't know if I can do a video prepare for retirement. I, I mean, I've, I've talked about what I did do for retirement. I just paid everything off and lived off my, I can live off my little money I make because I paid everything off. I don't have a lot of debt load. Although I did run up a credit card, I need to start working on it. But I don't have, you know, the key is to save your money up and stop spending so much money and start paying stuff off. Don't start buying houses and cars and stuff in your late years if you plan on retiring. Unless you know you're going to stay working or whatever. So maybe I could. Maybe I could talk about that. I don't know. It's just an opinion, though. Yeah. Uh, I love the backdrop music. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do a video right here. I got my camera already set up. I can crop all this crap out. You won't be seeing wires and telephones and stuff. I hear rice water rinse helps the hair stay black or brown. I have black hair, but yes, they say it keeps the gray away. What do you think? No. Rice water is a bunch of bull crap. <laughs> That's what I think of it. Because in my opinion, because I never tried it, if you boil some rice water, what does it look like in the pot when you take the rice out? It looks like milky white. Blah. So if you put that in your hair and rinse it out, I guess it acts as a protein. I don't know. I, I'm not interested in rice water. Rice water made my hair break like dry spaghetti. Ooh, dang. <laughs> dang, naturally done. Really? Because I've heard some people say they didn't really, they weren't really feeling that. I think that's something I ain't got to do. Be careful with rice water. That's what Toretto said. It's thick too. I heard it smells really bad. They say you have to watch out how you use it. This is from Andy. You have to watch how you use it. Uh, heavy conditioner after the protein rinse. I'm not going through all that. I use regular Starbucks Star stuff. I'm not going through all that stuff. Letting stuff ferment for three or four days just to put that funky stuff in my head. I'm not doing that. I haven't tried to even, I just um, see the trend around YouTube. Guys, look, I feel like I got something in my mouth. Hi, Rose. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, you know, if you say this, if I say this made my hair grow, people are going to follow. That's all you got to say. This made my hair grow. And you will find a lot of people doing all these things just to get their hair to grow. And it doesn't take all that to get your hair to grow. Your hair grows on its own. Rice water don't make your hair grow. Your hair gonna grow if you don't use rice water. If you don't do nothing to your hair, your hair is gonna grow. The key is learning how to maintain the length that you did grow. That's it. All this stand up upside down like a bat and all this crazy stuff. I'm not. I just never did that. And that's and that's one of the. There's a lot of reasons why my um channel ain't flourishing. For one thing, I'm not really doing natural hair videos no more because I'm just like so over it. Um. But me doing my hair on a live like this is bringing life to my channel and it's bringing life back to me because I don't, I don't have to sit here for eight, nine, ten hours ed editing a video. And it, this is a different way I can deal with it. I, I'm just so over the natural hair thing. But this is not so bad doing it this way. I like doing live videos. Uh, Rose said, right. I just go, she said, I just go on to eat. She said she's going on to eat the rice. Yeah, I just don't eat that rice shoe. Mm -mm, I'm not doing all that stuff. Just take care of your hair. Have a hair care regimen and treat your hair nice. Your hair gonna grow anyway. It doesn't, you don't need nothing to grow your hair. You just need to know how to take care of it so you can keep it. All right, Billy says, can I say I was thinking about you earlier today? You're so real, how real you're in. You're so relatable. Thank you, Billy. If I feel like it, if I feel, if I feel like it, I dress down when I want to. I can fix anything without bothering my hubby. 
I am a doer and so are you. I laugh because you are sometimes I laugh because you have to sometimes to keep from crying. I am my own worst critic sometimes. This child ain't got not one damn <laughs> she got one damn lick of period. Now one little now lick of comma just one sentence just never ended. I don't know. She just talked. Mm, thank you. So yeah, guys, I got your um your ideas. And we're gonna see how we can get that to work. So if you guys like makeup, you guys like lives, you like cooking, working out, and hair, story times, and girl talk. I can do that. I think I do that anyway, but since I know you, that's what you like the most, I can do that more often. Uh, they confuse growth with lent retention. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Throw butter on that good rice and eat it. That's right. I'm y'all make me want to get some rice when I go upstairs and get my vittles because I'm hungry. Make some gravy with that chicken grease for your rice. <laughs> no, you didn't say that, girl. Make, uh, yeah. Keeping it real. Thanks for the live. Have a good night. Bye, popcorn. Thanks for stopping in. I'm gonna get off this phone too. I'm gonna call y'all tomorrow though. We're gonna do uh because this is day day four of the uh, blogmas, which means I'll be posting a video every day for 31 days. So I'm gonna call y'all tomorrow. If I decide to, to do a live, I'm gonna put out I'm gonna put it post it on a community tab and I'm gonna put out a little video so your notifications can ding and we're gonna holler at each other uh and meet up at a certain time too. So because I you know what? I do not know how to set up my live stream to where I can post it in advance and say, hey, I'm having a live stream. It's going to go live. Blah, 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 blah. And plus, I'm not reliable like that. So I'll just make a little short 15 second clip and say, you know, ring it. That, that is, if you have your notifications on, it'll ding your notifications. And then I'll, then I'll tell you what time I'll be there. Y'all just meet me and we have our conversation like we normally do. All right. Yeah. Simply loves it. She says, yes, call us tomorrow. Because <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to call you. I'm going to get off this phone, but I'm not on the phone, but I'm going to call y'all though, okay? So you guys have a good night. I think we've been on here for how long? Some of y'all have not been here the whole time. Two hours and 38 minutes without me damn. And I got 92 likes. Hey, that's cool. I'm a little guy, guys. I got a little channel. I don't really really ever see my channel getting no more bigger than what it is because I'm not doing after her videos. But I got some cool ideas uh, to breathe life back into this channel. So we're going to do the... I can't believe my phone is ringing. That's my phone never rings. Why is it? That's the, um, that's the, um, medicine people again. Stop calling me, motherfuckers! Bye, Annie. Thanks for coming, Mitch. Is that you, Simply Me? Good night, guys. It's all been spent. That's okay, April girl. You can always say something. I know you're in the mix. So this is what I got so far for 2021. We're gonna, I'm gonna do Nancy Got You Lit. That's gonna be a talk show or a show. Me just being who I am. And you're gonna see Angelo. Y'all like Angelo. And we're gonna still do our lives on Fridays if I feel like it. And we might do, we will do like maybe Friday night lives on Fridays and then maybe some makeup and beauty stuff on Fridays. Or maybe Saturdays, Friday and Saturdays. And still girl chat. Still, I can still do my hair. And yeah, so it's, oh, and some, some little baby vlogs. Y'all like them vlogs. My vlogs don't really do that well. My live streams do, do a little bit better than my vlogs. My live streams do a little bit better than my videos. My, my channel has plummeted because I'm like, I don't want to do this no more. I need something new and fresh. So I'm going to bring you guys something new and fresh next year. Still with the old Nancy style, but something just, I just need something new. So now I got this laptop specifically for live streams. So that's it. All right, guys, I'm going to call you out tomorrow, okay? I'm going to say, cuckoo. You better say, hootie hoo when you hear me, because your girl is coming up on your shit to represent, all right? So I love you guys. She said, yay, Angelo. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Emily says goodnight. 
Oh, Mitch, this is my first live with you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. You made me get a Subway sandwich after watching that video. Sorry about that, Rose, girl. That, 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 that sandwich show was good. You saw Shay, she's licking her chops. Booty hoo! That's right. Bye bye. Bye, Boosie. Good night, my buggy. See you all tomorrow. I'm going to call y'all. Cuckoo! Good night, MJ. Good night, sweetheart. All right. I'm going to click the end stream. One, two, three. Bye, Simply. Bye, I'm just tickled to death. Bye, Tiffany Brown. Miss, Miss K says, good night, everyone, and beautiful. Good night.